question from a viewer comes from Renee. She points out the governor's job is 365 days a year, and citizens pay taxes to maintain the governor's mansion, completed in 2005, every day of the year. Ms. Nome, you live in Castlewood, and Mr. Sutton, you live in Burke. Renee wants to know if you're elected as governor, if you will move with your family to peer on a full-time basis. Mr. Sutton, we don't have a lot of time, so let's keep these answers. 30 seconds or less, please. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we've just been focused on trying to win this race <laughs> over, over the last year and a half, and I think we're going to try to tackle that when we get there. But, um, you know, we'll definitely uh, spend the vast majority of our time as a family um, in peer. I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, luckily, technology allows us to to do a lot of um, keeping in touch in, in different places. Um, and the good news is I live only an hour and 45 minutes from from peer. And, but, but I will be spending the vast majority of my time um, in peer uh, because I think we have a lot of work to do and a lot of, uh, a lot of things to take on. Yeah. Ms. Noem, simple question, would you move to peer with your family? You know, I'll certainly be there doing my work, but my family, uh, my husband has a business in Bryant, South Dakota, Booker's a junior in high school in Hamlin. Uh, so we'll go back and forth. I think it actually opens up a huge new opportunity for us to open up the governor's mansion to the public more often. Uh, if they can have more access and more activities there and they can enjoy it more, that's a win-win for everyone involved. So uh, my family probably won't move because uh, we'll be there and we'll certainly be committed and full-time on the job. And I'll go back and forth much like I have in Washington. But I think we have some huge opportunities to make the governor's mansion much more public. And the people of South Dakota will really enjoy that experience.